This is how some describe the award-winning actor and playwright John Lidwaba as uh, they paid tribute during his send-off. The 59-year-old died of pancreatic cancer at Hel uh, Helen Joseph Hospital on Christmas Day. Decorated with, among others, the Standard Bank Young Artist Award, Lidwaba was praised as a man who had paid his theatrical dues. A theatrical giant has fallen. The curtain has come down. And the family is struggling to come to terms with the loss. The pain started when we saw him in hospital, how he was suffering from the sickness uh, he was experiencing. And now a fitting tribute by those who lived with him and witnessed his rise to stardom. We didn't have much money to live on, but we went on and battled through. And for me, that period just made me realize how much of a dedicated struggle uh, uh, Icon John was. Besides, and he, he was selfless when it came to working for the nation, working to make sure that people know where we're at politically. Your name came up so often, John, and of course it would, as you were such an important voice in changing what South African theatre looked like. Together with your theatre comrades, you challenged how theatre was made in South Africa. You challenged both the form and the content. You labelled the form Eurocentric, and it was. And you pushed for content that spoke to the South African reality of the time. Described as charismatic, but aggressive in his activism. He will come up to, to the hotel and, 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 and hook us up individually and start telling us, you know, hey, I made you, this is the revolution, don't come and sleep here, wake up. Don't buy my face with Fanagalo. I'm just a little bit different, not quite difficult, I'm a township boy. He was also remembered through a song he co-created. Another township man. <laughs> Majita from Soweto. Majita from Togoza. Lidoaba's talent recognized in Ireland, Germany and England among other European countries. After all, he was young, black and gifted. Of course, Besides touring overseas, he was at the Market Theatre, he was at the Baxter Theatre. Now, when you're part of the mainstream, John performed for the First Lady of America, Clinton, Hillary Clinton. Among his writing credits, Street Sisters and Josie Josie Guide. Now, having paid his theatrical dues, it's up to those left behind to pick up the baton. John would tell the truth as it is, and Nasa Ikwanikwa, Nakena Street Mutabing. I'm going to miss that about him. You know, he was able to identify a character to different people. I will miss his aggressiveness. We're too polite, we're too light. He used to get things kankani. He is survived by his mother and wife, three children and six siblings. Margaret Amtabe, SABC News, Soweto. All right, time for us.